Hello world, welcome back to the Razer RC. And I took my Arma Sentin 4x2 Boost out to my local carpet track just to see how it would run basically on a racetrack, right? So if you've seen my first run video, I ran it on a really loose, uh, gravelly kind of dirt. Had no traction whatsoever. It was super hard to drive actually in that surface. Ran a lot better on uh, pavement, ran a lot better in the grass. So the next you know surface to try out is uh, carpet and why not? So this was not designed to be a racetrack, a two-wheel drive racetrack, but um, to be quite frank, you know, if you look at it, it probably is actually a really good design for uh, a high traction surface. So tires worked excellent. Uh, I, was, I ran it completely stuck. The only thing I changed was to go up three teeth on the pinion. So I'm running a 20 tooth pinion. I would say 19, 20, probably ideal for this size track. Not a really big track, so I don't need 20 tooth probably, but I uh, just need a little more speed to clear the jumps because there are some fairly large jumps out there. Uh, but in that completely stock vehicle, didn't mess with the shock, didn't mess with the disc or anything. And yeah, it drives really, really well. Um, it's an LCG chassis, so that keeps all the weight down low. Even if you do flip it, it does tend to roll back onto its feet a little bit better. But uh, that definitely is a help uh, on the high traction surfaces. It also is mid motor rather than rear motor, like a slash two wheel drive. So that again is gonna help uh, keep the balance, the weight a little more flat. It does not like transfer weight to the front and back nearly as much as like a slash with the mid motor. And that's really the main reason why. And the other thing is it has barely any kick up. And I know I, I talked about this before, but kick up is basically the angle of the front here. Usually on a two wheel drive vehicle, you might have 25, 30 degrees of kick up. On a four wheel drive vehicle like this, it's probably closer to like 12 degrees or so, 12, maybe 15 degrees, 10 degrees, somewhere around there. So very little kick up, uh, which will do two things. One is it won't be quite as smooth through the rough stuff, uh, loose traction surfaces, bumps, all that kind of thing. It's not gonna glide through. It's gonna kind of get knocked around a bit more, but it, on the high traction surface, it's actually gonna have more steering, uh, much more aggressive front end, and coupled with a mid motor, it really is a carving type machine on the high traction surfaces. So it runs really well on carpet, actually. Um, if your local track has like a two-wheel drive, like spec slash class where, you know, you have to run like a brushed motor uh, and they let you run this thing. If they let you run a Sentin two-wheel drive, you would clean up because this thing is so much better than a, a two-wheel drive uh, brushed slash, which has a high center gravity chassis which has the rear motor thing. The slash will perform a lot better in dirt on loose surfaces, but on high traction surfaces, the Arma 4x2 is much better. So anyways, I'll share some running footage now. You can check it out, see how it performed. Uh, this was with basically like a half pack remaining. So I had trouble clearing uh, the middle jump. It's like this double, fairly long jump, and you'll see I'm always short by like three or four inches. So uh, really hard to clear it with the with the worn battery pack. But other than that, this thing got around the track really well. Um, this is all one continuous shot, so you can see, you know, it, it does actually drive pretty decently. And uh, actually, I know it's not really meant to be a track car, especially like a carpet track car. But in that environment, this thing does rule. So uh, yeah. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this uh, running footage. Don't forget to hit the like, share, subscribe buttons. Look for more videos soon. Thanks for watching.